Hey, my lovely Cancerians, if my voice is not new to you, welcome back, fam. However, if my voice is new to you, welcome to the Cancerian Vibe. I am she, the boss lady B. Thank you so, so much for joining me. So I'm here taking care of a general message for my Cancerian brothers and sisters. I say brothers and sisters because <clears throat> if you ain't know, I'm a full-fledged cancer over here. All right, but no matter where you have cancer in your chart, the readings on this channel could resonate for you. So I do hope that you'll hit the subscribe button and join the Vibe Tribe. Turn on your notification bell so you're notified each time that I have a upload, okay? But let's see, what's, let's get into what's coming up for cancers. I got the little fortune cookies out today. I don't know, last night, I had a dream about these cards last night. So I was like, okay, I'm going to pull them out again. <laughs> so let's see what is coming up for cancer thank you spirit for clear accurate messages for uh oh my vibe tribe look okay so um perseverance wanted uh fell out here but love life wanted to come out with it and i just caught one 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 two but let's see okay so perseverance it says you may feel like you're getting nowhere but there are wonderful changes ahead don't give up i feel like this is definitely confirmation from the week ahead reading like i told you you may not you this is like the end of a tough cycle that's happening this week so perseverance i think i think i said resilience but perseverance okay persevere no matter what it looks like keep going there are wonderful changes ahead okay so it's like um i'm getting that visual of like that miner you know like the miner and he's like digging for gold digging for gold and he like right there like he done went through this whole thing and he ain't got nothing he re he getting ready to give up but he like right there at the brink of change that's what it's feeling like for you too Okay, this could be change around your love life or um, your intuition is telling you something. Uh, you may be wanting to change something yourself. Like it's a really great time if you've been thinking about learning something new. Um, it's a really great time if you've been thinking about changing your careers. This is the time. If you've been thinking about making some type of, of investment or some type of change with your money, this is the time. This is the time to initiate it. Trust what your intuition is telling you because that's that guidance. Remember that message came out, what your angels really wanted you to know, to trust the guidance that you're receiving. Stop second guessing it. Stop trying to fight it. Stop trying to like overanalyze it. Trust what, trust the guidance you're receiving. So this is definitely the time to start something um new but affairs in of the heart could definitely be coming up okay um take heart as difficult look take heart as difficult decisions or difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week so i feel really confident if you haven't um checked out the week ahead message that i did for cancers if i can remember it i'm gonna drop it in the eye so you can just get right to it um but definitely i feel like this is another confirmation on confirmation on confirmation that this week this week is transformational okay something is being resolved something is being ended cleared out out, like this is the week okay you know normally I, don't, I ain't big on timing but this is the week okay we getting we getting confirmation on top of confirmation that this is the week of some huge big change okay a change in pace i'm gonna pull ooh, one more look okay love life trying to show up again so it could definitely be with your love life okay so oh and <laughs> twist and turns <laughs> twist and turns came out but that's definitely the energy that i was feeling uh when i said i saw the minor it's like you've been on some twists and turns okay um carefully made plans could be thrown out the window as major changes and interruptions surround you make sure you get lots of rest to cope with the upheaval because yeah there's a lot i just feel like there's a lot that's changing it's like you're you're in for a ride okay so you may not feel like anything is changing. You might honestly feel like these challenges that you've been facing, like they're, they're here to take you out of the game, okay? But no, Spirit is really trying to change some things around in your life, okay? It's almost like you being, yeah, you might, and it's, it feels like kind of tower moment where it's just sudden, very sudden suddenly and unexpectedly okay 
So things that you may have, you know, had plans for, take the interruptions. Remember that even came out in the week ahead reading too. Take the interruptions. Don't don't just go straight to the negative. Look for the hidden blessing and why this is happening. Because, yeah, that was definitely the energy of the week ahead. There's something that you may be looking at very disappointed because it's not playing out the way that you planned, right? But there's a better plan unfolding. You just need to roll with it. And I know that could be hard, Um but that's what spirit is saying, okay? Because major changes, major changes. Let's just get one more. I'm going to pull one more. Third time's a charm. Let's see what comes out for um cancer. What's coming towards cancer? So we got travel. Ooh, long distance communication will open up your life. Okay, <laughs> exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. So that's what I'm saying. That, that twist and turn, that's a part of the traveling or movement. Um, I feel like that's definitely confirmation too that something or someone at a distance or someone from your past could definitely be coming back up and there's some communication that's happening. I feel like this that's definitely what's happening. Um but it could be, you know, that you may have been experiencing some twists and turns when it comes to your job. You may have been, you know, trying to, like, find your sweet spot. You've been in this job, something didn't work out. You know, you moved to this job, something didn't work out. You decided to do this. You know, you could be bouncing around and just trying to find some stability, you know, from the twists and the turns. But Spirit is saying, look, we, we, we working these kinks out. This is the week, okay? This is the week. And so the Eight of Pentacles wanted to show up here again. It just wanted to fly out again before um I set the intention. But the nine of swords is here, and that's what the energy I feel like you could be in while you're it's like you're um you're allowing whatever this twist and turn is definitely giving me like tower moment. But you're allowing you're you're only you could only be focusing on the negative or worry like you're just focused on the fact that your plans got blown up. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like I said, there's a better plan. Let's clarify the energy, though. Clarify this energy for Cancer Spirit. Four of Cups. Yeah, Seven of Cups. There's some confusion around. I feel like... I feel like there's confusion around your environment. This could definitely be your work environment. This could be your home environment. I just feel like you're confused about where you are. You could just be confused about where you are right now. Um because I just really take this as, yeah, like spirit is coming and pull you up from like sinking sand, like this, uh, what do they call it? Quicksand, that mud. It's like you, this environment was not conducive for you. That's why I said you can definitely something, you know, spur or suddenly can happen where you're going to have to change your environment or your environment is changing. You could be looking at looking at it as a negative, but it's really a positive. That's why I said I feel like spirit is coming to say pick you up out of this. Like just continue to try to thrive and persevere where you are cuz spirit is changing your um situation, your environment cuz yeah, it's like you don't you may feel like you don't fit cuz this this snake trying to fit into this little thing. It's like you're trying to find trying to find your place, your stability. And there could be some, yeah, you're confused about, all right, why why aren't things happening? Or things might have started happening, then they didn't. Y'all, I knew the tower was going to come out. I knew it was. I knew it was. <laughs> this could definitely be some changes around your um family, too, or your finances. Honestly, I definitely feel like that's just been around cancers. I'm going to have to come back and do the money reading, like where we just focus on money, because that's definitely been the consensus in the energy. Like cancer is coming into some type of um like level up in their finances. But you see what I'm saying? It's like it's like you could be. Looking at this situation, it's like, this isn't that great of a situation. Like, yeah, a, a storm that hit your house, you know, something happened with your house and now you can't live there anymore. It's like something sudden, something sudden that happens like that. And I'm not necessarily saying it's a bad thing. You may feel like it's a bad thing, like I said, because... um you're only like you're you know you're going with your first mind and you're seeing like who wouldn't be feeling away if they're just seeing the house burn but you see how this figure is like she's just sitting back intently just 
Like she's not trying to change the situation. It's just like she's accepting it. It's burning to the ground so that something new can be built so that you can be blessed with something else. It's like there could definitely be, I just, the word sudden, the sudden energy is like, okay. Thing, and things, you be feeling like things take a long time to change. Things can change suddenly, like in a blink of an eye, in a millisecond, okay? Your whole life can change. And I feel like this is the energy, like, yeah, you've been going through twists and turns because I feel like you've been trying to find your space or just feel like you feel confident or comfortable, especially when it comes to your finances and just, you know, in your home in general because this home... You know, cancer is all about their home. You want to feel at home in your shell, in your space, and that security. You see, this is a brick house. This is a brick house. You see, yeah, there's, you about to get a different house. Somebody could have even been, um, something happened to the house that you were in. I'm not necessarily saying it was a fire, but don't be alarmed if you have to suddenly have to pack up and move or something, because spirit trying to bless you with something better something more solid and it's given because you remember that message the red door and the color red somebody's gonna get a red door but this is definitely the, like your new home like your forever home i said i feel like someone's gonna grow their family there or start their family there but it's just like yeah this this um and i just call 11 11 this looks like a crazy situation or this looks like a negative situation but whatever this is for you, whatever this tower moment that happens for you, because it's going to happen this week, whatever it is, don't, your your first instinct is going to be like, oh my God, what the world is happening? Like, again, like, because you already, you already been dealing with the twists and the turns, okay? Um, and you may have had plans to like, that's what I'm saying. Somebody had plans to like stay in this house or stay where they felt like they were at home, but no, the environment, like the environment has to change, okay? Spirit is changing your environment for you. Just telling you. Clarify this energy, you know, so if something goes to shit at work, like it just hits the van, <laughs> let it happen. Let it burn, okay? Ten of Wands, if something ends or, you know, even if this communication coming in from across the water, the pond, wherever it's coming from, it's coming from a distance. If it's to end something, let it end because it's ushering in a new beginning, okay? Let it burn. Let it burn. Like, literally, I'm telling you, let it burn. Sit back like this figure and just because, and it's almost like, feel the warmthness from the fire, you know? Fire is a, is good in some instances. So, think of it as this this energy of like, you, you know, you're sitting around and you're just gathering the warmth. Clarify the energy for cancer. Clarify this energy for Cancer Spirit. Yeah, the magician, the world. See, um, you guys, one, this cycle, this cycle is definitely completing this week. Okay, yeah, with the world showing up. But the magician came out. This is that new beginning. This is the one. This is starting over, right? But I feel like, too, um... Someone is trying to make something or create something for what you're trying to do. This may be your new thing and this may be confirmation for you to if you if you're trying to learn about it or wanting to do it. Like I am seeing where it's like you're trying to concoct something new. This could even be you trying to concoct a new plan after this one then went up in flames, <laughs> right? with this magician energy, but also just the energy of manifesting, okay? So that's why I'm saying you want to be poised differently when this quote-unquote negative thing happens, okay? Like, you want to be poised, like, and, and that's why you're getting this, you're getting this information. It's like I'm putting you up on game, so when it happens, you can be like, okay, all right, like, I'm already identifying this. This is this is my end to start my new beginning. Instead of seeing that and seeing it as your end and thinking it's your end all be all and it's taking you out the game and you're dead, okay? It's not that. But someone I definitely feel like you're doing like something with um, like cosmetics or oils or something like that. 
it could have been a long windy road for you <laughs> doing this too like trying to um but it's giving the vibe of like you finally cracked something like you've been testing maybe you've been in like a testing state or it's like you finally get some type of revelation clarify the energy here for cancer spirit Strength, yeah, eight of wands. Things are about to start moving, popping off. Okay, this that fire um, energy. I'm definitely seeing, but strength came out the number eight card, and look, that's two eight showing up. Eight and eight is what sixteen, which is the tower. Okay, so it's like this thing came to build your strength and to look. Um, this dog is pointing to trust. It's like trusting spirit. Trust in spirit that this situation, whatever happened, it's almost like, yeah, spirit sent this to like ignite or, you know, be some type of catalyst to um, end this cycle that you're in and start a new one. Okay, but you're just having to trust. Um, trust, have faith, show courage. And, you know, not giving up, persevering. I definitely feel like this is your, your strength, your fortitude. This is your perseverance, your energy of perseverance. Right? Not giving up on yourself. Clarify the tower. Let's get a little more insight on this. Because this that's like the main. <laughs> Clarify the tower for cancer. Seven of cups. See, yeah, you may be confused. And that's what I'm saying. I definitely feel like... Um, you could be going back and forth to about because the two of pentacles is here you could end up going back and forth about like how you're moving forward or trying to fix your plan figure out your plan i just feel like yeah there there could be some confusion around that the tower is the number 16 card one and six is seven and we got the seven of cups showing up tell us more about the tower spirit What's the tower for cancers? Okay, see, the hang one tried to pop out. Mm, and the three of cups is here. Oh, for some reason, upside down. But, okay, the hang one tried to pop out. And see, where things, I feel like you're you're feeling like this. You know, like you're all tangled in whatever the situation is for you. However, however it happens in your life, you know, we're all on different, although we are all connected, we're all on different points in our path. No one's journey is the same. Okay. So whatever has you in this state where you could definitely feel like you're in limbo or waiting for some things, or you're just in a sticky situation. Like this person is tied up upside down underwater. You could just feel like, you know, these twists and these turns, like that's <laughs> these twists and these turns got you twisted and turned up in here. Okay. Like you done got yourself in a mess, but it's like, um, just hold out because I feel like spirit is coming to rescue you from this. And that's why it's like the whole thing has to be destroyed. It ain't just one little, like I can make one little cut and you free. It's like this whole situation has to be destroyed for you to be saved out of it, right? And so that's what I feel like whatever this, this tower moment ends up being for you. One, it's going to bring you out of this energy of feeling like, you know, you're underwater, right? Where you're... um where you're submerged and stuck like you like you can't get free like you think that this is it okay well spirit saying look keep persevering just keep swimming even though yeah you're a little tied up right there <laughs> just keep swimming because this is a part of the change this is how the um change is happening for you i'm going to actually switch the deck look and the ace of fire was at the bottom of the deck okay something with fire i'm not telling you your house about to catch on fire but you may feel a sense of fire, okay? But look, yeah, Jupiter, look at the little fire. <laughs> Jupiter showed up, okay? Um, yeah, and that's what the energy is. I think Aquarius is in Jupiter, or Jupiter is in Aquarius right now. But anyway, you are, um, I feel like Spirit is coming to do this this tower moment for you to inspire you to act, okay? Because you may have stayed comfortable, even though you didn't even like where you were. 
You may have stayed, you were staying, trying to stay comfortable, but I feel like spirit is bringing this situation to kind of throw a monkey wrench at your plans because your plans weren't big enough. You weren't thinking or dreaming big enough, okay? Um, this is a new opportunity too that I feel like is going to be presented to you. This could be communication about a new opportunity, a new job, um, being able to kind of pursue your passion. I just feel like it's the energy of like a new adventure, right? And it's bringing in fortune with it because it's Jupiter. It's bringing in fortune with it. And see this feminine energy of yin is at the bottom of the day. So it's like sit back and relax and allow it to come to you. This is, she's definitely giving me feminine energy here because she's just, it's like sitting back, not taking action, but kind of sitting back to receive, Okay. Um, and so, you know, that's why you could definitely be in this energy of, um, feminine energy, but spirit wants you to act, to take some type of risk. Like, you know, you were just kind of sitting back, um, and it's a great thing to sit back and allow these changes to happen, but then it's like to prompt you to make some sort of move. So it's almost like, you know, that's why I said that fire, I feel like is important because it's almost like a fire under your butt. You know, like if you go, if you go quit your job, or you lose your job or whatever, that's going to like ignite some type of fire under your butt because you're going to be like, all right, I need, I got to work. I got to, you know, I got to make some income. I got to feed my family. I got to eat, whatever. Um, and I feel like this risk that you're about to take, this what spirit is about to push you into or as spirit wants for you to go into, it's, it can seem very risky and you're being cautious about it. So now spirit has to come in and almost like make you do it. <laughs> like That's what I'm saying. Change the environment or whatever. It's like, you know what? Okay. <laughs> that's what, that's what I'm saying. That's what it's giving. Let's just see. I'm going to pull one more from the deck. Just one more. See what shows up for cancer. Definitely the, um, the rebirth, the winter rebirth, major changes, transitioning from, um, light to darkness. However, um, I ain't like how that came out. So I'm going to try this one more. Again, give me a message um, for cancer. Death and rebirth. Okay. but And look, <laughs> so it came out, the ace of fire. But this is that energy of, yeah, you being at a stalemate. Or you're in some type of place where you're at a stalemate. You could be denying action. Like you are denying the action that spirit is trying to get you to act on. Um, that's why I said, you know, your angels were trying to get you to say, um, oh, I just caught 22, 22. They were saying, you know, um, get, like get moving, like trust, trust the guidance that you're receiving and get moving on it. But I feel like you're trying to deny it. It's almost, it's giving a vibe like somebody, you know how somebody tell you something and they but like, mm -mm, get somebody else to do it. It's almost like you're trying not to hear what your angels are saying, what spirit is saying. Like you could be hearing it, but you're not trying to receive it. And it's like you're in this state of going back and forth or indecision. You're trying to deny um, or you're not seeing how this is playing out for your future. I definitely feel like this is a sense of you being at a crossroads. But the Ace of Fire, Ace of Fire... Ace of Fire definitely speaks of a new start, new ventures. Um, this could definitely be a new job for someone, okay? Excuse me, a new job, a new um, partnership with it being the Ace of Fire. This can definitely be passion, but definitely um, the energy of just something new starting. So let it burn to the ground because what, like, you know, you, it, what do they even, I think they burn grass to like re, to rebirth it, regrow it. So that could be what's happening in your life, you know, figuratively, nothing t technically has to be burning, but you know, figuratively things could be burning down to the ground because better things are coming in. You want this new. Okay. Um, just remember that. Remember that when you, when you may be trying to hold on to the past that spirit is trying to take from you or, you know, wh while you're still trying to stay in this cycle, even though it's been challenging, it's like people, we fight for the past because that's where we're comfortable. You know, some people get afraid of moving forward because we don't know. You like to know. Um, but this is a, this is a new start or a new venture that I feel almost like you're being pushed into forced into because spirit has been nice about it and subtle about it and been giving you hints and giving you confirmation, but you just been denying it or trying to block it. Okay. And so spirit said, um, say less. <laughs> I'm gonna come handle it. <laughs> I'm gonna come handle it. Okay. Let's see. Look at that prosperity showing up. That's what I'm saying. It definitely does feel like it could be a new job for someone. A new source of like 
financial gain, but just prosperity in all forms. Honestly, prosperity around, uh, prosperity around um, these new ventures, right? So hand of fate showed up, and see, look, this is, and we've been talking about the hands too. I feel like that was um, important in the week ahead reading. Definitely, if you haven't watched that reading, go check it out. But see, it's like the hand of fate coming to pull you up out of this situation. Just continue to persevere. Forces beyond your control will intervene. They're gonna intervene. It's like the um, your angels, forces beyond your control. They're coming to, they're coming to. Um, you ain't gotta worry about this house, okay? They're coming to put the fire out, but you still possess the fe the freedom to choose how you respond. And I caught twenty five twenty five as I said that, but that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. When shit hits the fan, excuse my language, I'm just saying. But um, when it hits the fan and um, let it burn, let it burn, gotta let it burn, okay? And you just gonna have to let it burn, and you gonna have to be okay with that. You know, um, before when something burned, you may have been like, you may have lost it. You you know, what is happening? Okay, what is spirit trying to do? Like, why is all these um, things happening to me? Da, 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 da. But you get to choose how you respond to it this time. And I invite you to try it differently. Now, because I didn't already put you on game. I didn't I didn't brought you the message. So I'm saying, you know, this week is very pivotal, pivotal for cancers too. So I do feel like for the majority of cancers, this will happen this week. There's going to be some type of tower moment for you this week. But it is the hand of God, okay, coming and acting on your behalf, coming to pull you up out of this situation. So no matter what it looked like, okay, <clears throat> the Aries energy showed up here at the bottom of the deck. Actions that you take now will bear fruit, okay? Charge ahead with your plans and see it through to full fruition. Aries is this energy of action, leadership. Some of you could definitely be... Um, Stepping into, into some type of leadership role. That's what I feel like spirit is doing for you. And that's why you could be, you know, trying to, trying to hesitate and not step into it. But spirit, like, no. Like, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't stay the course. You didn't persevere. Like, you're ready. Okay. Let's get one more. Okay, but look, there's definitely a message coming. Could be from a Capricorn, y'all. Keep your eye out. I feel like somebody has hidden enemies. They could be watching you. Um, I ain't gonna. I, I ain't spending too much on that, but I just wanna because it came up. My mama always told me you'll never know who watching you unless you watching them. So I don't feel like you gotta worry about them if you you know you ain't gotta worry about them if you ain't worried about them. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, there is some type of message that's coming from afar. It's coming from afar off, or you may feel like it's far off, okay? But you will soon receive good news. It can come in a form of an email, text message, call, or letter, okay? And this could be, like I said, um, but that Capricorn energy, it makes me think of work too. So this could definitely be an opportunity, like some type of job opportunity, okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, that uh, kind of earth energy, Pentacles. That's what I think about. I said I was only gonna pull one more, but this this is my last one. I think I'm gonna pull one more. Ooh. Okay. So attachment showed up. Who or what are you relentless pursuing that has become an addiction? Loosen your grip and enter the unknown. Okay. Enter the unknown. Don't be attached to the past. That's what I'm saying. People. And it's, it's, it's honestly human nature. Even if your past was not all that grand, if you, you know, we're creatures of habit and we like to stay with the familiar. The unknown is, is scarier. At least I know what this the dysfunction over here feels like and I'm, I'm already dealing with it. I don't know nothing about moving forward. So some people are afraid to move toward the unknown. But that's where I feel like spirit is coming in and taking like god is coming taking that hand and putting you into the unknown and you just need to have a better attitude about it it's all about your attitude about it okay your attitude determines your altitude right how are you handling this like are you gonna sit and complain and 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 pity part of yourself or are you gonna rise to the occasion and take take the actions that you're being guided to take loosen your grip to the past okay um, and definitely this energy of like manifesting mirror life as above, so below. That's what I'm saying. So whatever you have in the spiritual realm, call it down here. 
whatever is happening within you is manifesting into your physical life. All right. So that's why I'm saying you want to change up how you are responding to what happens. So I don't know exactly what this tower moment could be for you, but I will say, look, it's, it's faded. Like it's, it's, it's a hand it's the act of like your angels your spirit guys like they the hand of fate is coming in and changing the situation so that's what i'm saying like you just have to trust that it's working out for your best benefit okay but definitely the energy of like a new cycle starting something new starting um definitely the energy of travel someone could be traveling to you or you could be traveling to them Okay, but I do feel like at the end of the day, Cancer, this is a very, very positive change that's going to occur for you. Okay, um, and see, yeah, the energy of suddenly, <clears throat> I don't know, I had picked up that day like I was going to pull a card, but that was... That was a card enough for me. I'm going to leave it here, you guys. I really hope that the reading resonates for someone and you found it helpful. Like I said, I put you up on game. So when it comes in, don't say I didn't tell you, okay? Now, you just have a better posture. Now, it's not going to hit you by such such surprise, hopefully, and you can respond better, okay? So, um, it's only coming to grow and expand you, okay? I'm just saying so, but I love y'all. I really do hope that the reading resonates for someone. You found it helpful in some way. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, y'all. If you have not already, I would absolutely love to have you a part of the fam. Um, talk to me down in the comments. I love interacting with you guys. Check out the website if you're interested in a personal reading, bossladybtarot.com. Um, you can use code February for 20% off all personal readings this month. And yeah. 31, 31. I'm going to leave it there. In the meantime, in between time, until next time, you guys. I love you.